Hey what's up guys, it's your boy, back with another Rocket League tutorial video. And today we're going to talk about how slash when to use car cam. So first let's talk about when to use car cam. There's three major times where you're going to actually want to use car cam instead of ball cam. And those times are when you're dribbling slash flicking, when you have an open net, and mid-air redirects. So first let's start with the easy one, and that's dribbling and flicking. Most people passed around Diamond 3 will know to turn uh, car cam on when uh, dribbling and flicking, just because it's so much easier to dribble, the car camera doesn't go crazy, everything like that, right? That's just the easy one when dribbling and flicking. But when it comes to the next two steps, they are not as utilized. So the thing with the open nets, they are relatively easy to score with ball cam on or off. It doesn't matter. Usually they're if they're it's on the ground, it's an open net, it's you can just usually hit it in. But that being said, it is much, 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 much easier to score open nets when car cam is on. Car cam makes it so you can get to the ball as fast as possible and have the most accuracy as well. Granted, again, they're both easy to score, but it's easier to score with car cam off. So I'd recommend just when you have an open net, just turn it off, get to the, or sorry, get to the ball, and then before you shoot, before you flip into the ball to get your shot off, I'd recommend turning car cam on. It might be awkward at first just to, you know, get into that habit, but it makes it so much easier to actually score the open nets with car cam on. So now let's talk about in-air redirects. Now, if you watch any pros play the game, you will understand that when they're in the air and they have a redirect, most of them turn their uh, car cam on. And that's because when you're in car cam, you can see your car move, like in real time. You can see it, well, you can see them both, but it's easier because it follows it, right? All you can see is the car. Your main focus is the car, when in ball cam, your main focus is, well, the ball, right? So you can get crazy angles, angles that you wouldn't even necessarily think you had in uh, in air redirects, right? You can add super power, you can make them more powerful. Now I wouldn't recommend it in with redirects if you're going for a shot redirect, so say you're off the wall, then you go for a shot, usually just keep ball cam on if you're going for a shot, but if you're going for just a touch, right? Just like a, you know, redirect, essentially. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would recommend turning car cam off. So let's talk about how to use car cam. First, you're going to want to line your car up with the ball. If, if this is midair, if you're going midair, you want to make it so the trajectory of the ball is hitting your car, right? So right when it's hitting your car, and then you have about approximately one second before the ball hits your car, you're going to want to toggle ball cam off to get into car cam, and then to have that one second of leeway room to uh, maneuver your car to get a better angle, to get accuracy, to get etc. So mainly car cam is for accuracy and power and angles that you didn't necessarily know you had, right? So last second before the ball is gonna hit your car when you're already like hovering in the ball, let the ball hit your car, don't hold down boost, just let the ball hit your car and then redirect it whichever way you want when you're in car cam. I know it's kind of hard to explain, but hopefully the uh, examples that you see on screen will help you out with understanding how to do it a little bit. And how to do it with dribbles slash flicks. Um, usually to get into a flick, you have to start dribbling it first. So when the ball is about to hit your car, right? You're gonna want to toggle ball cam off. Or if the ball's high up in the air, you toggle it off and then you see that ball indicator at the bottom, you're gonna want to target your car in that circle so you can control the ball for when it happens and then once you have once you start the dribble you're going to never want to turn it uh car cam off you're never going to turn ball cam on sorry but yeah uh i understand that this is a shorter video but it, it's very important to uh start practicing these advanced mechanics because it is a relatively advanced mechanic minus the dribbling and flicking but right when you get to in air redirects it becomes a very uh, a very advanced mechanic because you have a lot more control when you go into car cam. So I, I felt like this video kind of needed to be made and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comments down below if, uh, if maybe this helped or maybe you have uh, advice or feedback or maybe I missed something. Uh, just let me know. Just let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, I should mention that I have a new series about to come out called Challenge League where I'm going to be doing uh, various challenges 
with, well, Rocket League. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, it'll, it'll be stuff like every time I get scored on, I put my nutsack in a mouse trap, or maybe, maybe not that extreme, but you, you get the idea, right? Stuff, stuff happens whenever I get scored on. Yeah, but uh, keep a heads out for that. Don't forget to subscribe because that will be a lot of fun. And hopefully you guys enjoyed or found this helpful. And moi 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 bye moi 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 bye 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 moi.